How would this work? Well, Google, Emily, has uh, reached out to almost a half dozen uh, film schools, uh, the American Film Institute, the California Institute of the Arts, the Rhode Island School of Design, UCLA, and USC. Uh, Norman Hall is an, a Hollywood editor. He's worked on a range of films from Heathers to the Cotton Club, and he's also uh, a professor uh, at the USC School of C uh, Cinematic Arts, and, and he joins us now in Los Angeles. Uh, Norman, welcome to the show. Uh, what was your reaction when you first learned that some of the students at USC were going to get their hands on Google Glass? Oh, well, we're excited, super excited about this, um, as we are with any kind of technology that's going to help our students tell story better. Uh, we're just trying to figure it out. So let's talk about how they're going to tell stories. I know you were, you were quoted early on when this was announced on, you know, the, the movie Time Code, which some people might not remember, but it was sort of split into four screens and different <laughs> stuff happening all at the same time to help tell the story. I mean, what kind of stories are going to be told through Google Glass? Well, right now we're bringing a screenwriter on. We've got a student producer who's bringing some student scriptwriters on, and we're going to figure that out. One of the things that we talked to Google about initially was we are investigating different kinds of genres, so we're interested in how we could use Google Glass uh, as opposed to other cameras to help tell mysteries. Uh, we're looking at that, maybe music videos. So we're taking a look at two or three different genres, and we'll write some scripts and really figure out the best way of doing it after playing around with glass for a little while. Then we'll figure it out. You know, we've, we've watched smartphones eat up the traditional market share of personal cameras. I'm wondering, mm -hmm. uh, could Google Glass just replace traditional film cameras? Well, right now it's not of the quality that can do that. I'm sure it will get better in version 2.0, 3.0, 10.0. Uh, but what we're really seeing is different cameras help tell different stories better. So my guess is it will fit in there somehow. Right now, Google and we just don't know. So it's really more research than anything else about what the best way to tell stories will be. Um, we're going to see how it's different than small little cameras like the GoPro or even your, your mm. mobile phone or the big cameras. We're going to really explore that and see what works and what doesn't. You know, people have, have brought up privacy issues with Google Glass, and when you think about traditional films being uh, filmed in a certain area, permits are needed. How do you think all that's going to work? Well, as far as that issue is concerned, we've, we've passed that several years ago. Right now with uh, mobile phones and with things like the GoPro that are so small, uh, you just really have to be aware as ethical filmmakers that you can't snoop on people. You can't uh, really violate that sort of contract, an implicit contract that you'll have with people. Uh, so I think Google is super aware of that. Uh, I just don't see it as so strikingly different than some of the other small cameras we have. Sure, it's right up here, so that's going to make a big difference in terms of uh, 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 how people see things. Um, but they're, they're, they know, they can see when you're on and when you're not. So they're super hmm. aware of all of that. And quickly before and that's we not go, what we how do many... Anyway, you know? I'm sorry, right, that's not what right, we do right. anyway. Uh, as uh, fiction filmmakers or documentary filmmakers, we have a contract with the people who we're shooting. I mean that ethically, not, uh, not actually legally. Right. And very quickly, on that note of making movies, how many would you like to be making here with Google Glass in these early days? We're probably, as part of this contract, going to do two or three of them. Uh, we'll see what's possible. We may end up with more. Who knows? We're going to write apps huh. for them, and we're going to uh, uh, shoot them. We'll see what's best. And they're going to be short films. They're not okay. feature-length. 